Is estrogen dominance keeping you from losing weight? What is estrogen dominance? Can calcium D-glucarate help? Isn't estrogen a naturally occurring hormone? And why should I be concerned about it? Estrogen is a naturally occurring hormone and has many beneficial functions. However, there are several things that can get it out of balance and the result is too much estrogen in your body. It is this lack of balance that can cause estrogen dominance. Overabundance of estrogen levels has been shown to be associated with weight gain, difficulty losing weight, increased allergies, PMS symptoms, endometriosis, autoimmune diseases such as lupus, chronic elevated estrogen exposure, endometrial cancer, and breast cancer. While these may be extreme cases of estrogen dominance, if ED is suspected, corrective action should be taken to ensure that hormone levels are brought back into balance. It is important to understand that estrogen dominance refers to increased levels of estrogen in relation to other hormones. Hormones are meant to balance one another. Think of air conditioning and heat. Too much of one will throw the system out of balance. What causes estrogen dominance? Well, estrogen dominance is part of the hormonal circuit of the neuroendometabolic stress response. When the body perceives stress, the hormonal circuit consisting of the adrenals, reproductive organs, and the thyroid revs up to produce their respective hormones. When the body is overly stressed by physical activity or perceived mental stress, the hormonal circuit can become imbalanced and estrogen dominance may arise. This can be exacerbated by poor nutrition, sugar, processed carbs, lack of fiber, hormone-tainted foods, etc. Also lack of sleep and excess caffeine consumption. In addition, your body is consistently exposed to estrogen through xenoestrogens. Xenoestrogens are chemicals that are structurally similar to estrogen. In fact, they look enough like estrogen that your body actually processes them as estrogen. Estrogen and xenoestrogens are found everywhere, in food, hygiene products, environmental pollutants, and pesticides. For example, food products, especially animal meats and dairy, is often purposely laced with estrogen to promote growth. Soy and any other soy products can produce xenoestrogens. Personal hygiene products may also have estrogenic promotion properties, such as shampoos or skincare products with estrogen or xenoestrogens. Even some forms of birth control are estrogen based and can increase your estrogen levels. Estrogen dominance often accompanies adrenal fatigue because a body under stress activates the neuroendometabolic stress response, or NEM, automatically. Numerous organ systems and hormones are involved, including the adrenal glands and the liver. This can cause the liver and the gut to become overly stressed and hamper your ability to detoxify your body and eliminate estrogen, which will, among other things, make it difficult for you to lose weight. How does calcium D-glucarate get rid of excess estrogen? In the normal functioning of the body, hormones, such as estrogen, often travel to the liver and are tagged for excretion. The neutralized hormone is secreted in bile, which travels out by way of solid waste and must pass through the intestine. If your body is out of balance, an enzyme, beta-glucuronidase, becomes too abundant. When beta-glucuronidase encounters a neutralized hormone, it breaks the bond to reactivate this hormone and the hormone is then reabsorbed through the wall of the intestine. Calcium D-glucarate is important because it helps ensure that estrogen marked for excretion actually leaves the body. Without sufficient levels of calcium D-glucarate, the neutralized estrogen can be activated and reabsorbed by the body. Calcium D-glucarate is a supplement that your body converts to glucaric acid, 
a chemical in your intestine that supports the liver. When your body is in balance and in optimum health, it is possible to obtain a sufficient amount of glucaric acid through the food you eat without supplementation. Glucaric acid is found in most vegetables, such as bean sprouts, lettuces, and cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, kale, etc., and in fruits such as grapes, oranges, cherries, and tomatoes. However, if your body's balance is disturbed in any way, including estrogen dominance, your body may not be getting enough from your diet alone. Calcium d works in conjunction with an enzyme in the intestine, beta-glucuronidase, and the liver's detoxification process. Calcium d inhibits beta-glucuronidase and ensures that the hormone is excreted from the body and not reabsorbed. Calcium d inhibits beta-glucuronidase to prevent too many hormones from being reabsorbed. Any reabsorption of materials that the liver has already tried to excrete is an added stress to the system. It is also natural for the levels of beta-glucuronidase to increase as the body ages, which increases the rate of hormone reabsorption. This can contribute to estrogen dominance, which is often associated with stress, especially in aging women. It has been shown that calcium d supplementation is beneficial for those attempting to restore balance to their body's hormones. What are six ways to manage your estrogen levels? Your estrogen levels are best managed through a multi-system approach. Number one, supplement with calcium d This can ensure that your body eliminates estrogen that is tagged for excretion and can help begin to restore your body's balance. Number two, control your diet. Because this hormone is prevalent in some foods, it is essential to monitor your diet and reinforce your detoxification system. Since estrogen and xenoestrogens are present in the modern diet, it is best to look for meats grass-fed with no added hormones. It is also essential to eat organic fruits and vegetables as many pesticides contain xenoestrogens and avoid soy and any soy products. Number three, weight management. Weight management is important because fat cells or adipose tissue create the hormone estrogen. Number four, cut back or eliminate alcohol. The liver is essential for ensuring proper flushing of excess estrogen and other chemicals from the body. If the liver is hampered due to drugs and toxins, including excess alcohol, it can get overwhelmed and not function optimally. Number five, get your gut healthy. Probiotics can populate your gut with beneficial bacteria that will help you eliminate toxins and chemicals. And number six, add fish oil. Fish oil can provide raw material to manufacture healthy hormones, help your body function, and be in balance. It has multiple benefits for your body, including reduction of inflammation. So how much do I need? What is the right dose of calcium d Dr. James B. Laval, in his book, Cracking the Metabolic Code, commonly recommends 600 to 1,000 milligrams a day for women who have estrogen-dominant chemistries. Dr. Michael Lamb, MD, states because calcium d alters the liver's excretion of phase 2 metabolites, be sure to check with your healthcare provider if you're taking medications that go through this processing in the liver, as there might be interactions with those medications. Also, be sure to talk with your healthcare provider about proper dosage of calcium d to ensure the supplement properly contributes to your recovery. For more information on strength training and functional nutrition, call 314-457-3474 or check out our website at www.catalyststl.com.